that. Weather on the ones at 511 with Paul Kino. That was fun. A lot of snow fell this weekend. Any more coming? Yeah. You like snow. We got another round for it. It was fun. It was great skiing. I was up at West Mountain for their big opening. I mean, there was great skiing everywhere. Yeah, listen, I mean, we got to factor everybody in, and the ski areas loved it. Maybe some of the restaurants uh, weren't overly excited as people, you know, tend to not go out when it's snowing so much. But uh, overall, it happened on the weekend, so fewer people perhaps were impacted in terms of driving into work and home. So let's just say that uh, maybe there were fewer accidents and, and problems because the uh, storm did come on the weekend. Got almost a foot of snow in Albany, officially just about 11 and a half inches. Some places saw a foot or more. A little light dust overnight. And perhaps I'll have to dust off the windshield this morning again. Just another band of snow coming down the pike with some energy in the atmosphere. And now you can see just the smattering of flurries in the Skahari Valley up into the southern rim of the Adirondacks around Mayfield and the Great Sockendaga Lake, uh, perhaps up towards Speculator and a couple, let's say, up toward the West Mountain Ski Area. But for the most part, we are looking, uh, generally speaking, at dry weather this morning. I think the bigger story today will be the cold and the wind as temperatures are in the teens and lower 20s, but that's going to be it in terms of highs for the day today as a decidedly colder air will be blowing in. And as that northwest breeze really kicks in, you will see temperatures feel like they're in the 0 to 10 above range for most of the day, and that's the wind chill factor that we always talk about. Actual readings, very uh, winter-like, cold with highs barely reaching 20 degrees in a lot of places. So let's say we start out in the teens to around 20. We settle back down a few more degrees before sunrise this morning, and then only rebound back toward 20 this afternoon. A lot of places, Schenectady, Amsterdam, and especially in the Adirondacks and North Country, will struggle in the single digits and teens through the afternoon, only to go back down toward or below zero tonight. You can see several places going down to the zero mark or below, and then only recovering tomorrow with another round of light snow back through the teens. So the cold and active weather pattern continues through the early part of the week here. You can see the lake effect snow flurries and snow bands blowing on through in the last couple of hours, but now we're left with mainly dry weather as a westerly breeze kicks in behind this front. High pressure will dominate for the rest of the day today before another Alberta clipper blows on through with a couple of inches of snow tomorrow. We'll track it with time. Notice it's dry out there now. I think we'll have in and out sunshine today with that blustery wind. Clouds roll in tonight. And I think we'll have a pretty much all day light snow tomorrow. It's not going to really add up a lot, but as it passes through, things will get slick again. And we're talking in the order of an inch or two, maybe three in some spots by the end of the day tomorrow. So dry today, light snow tomorrow, wind and cold for the early part of the week. 22 this afternoon with that breeze making it feel even colder. Five above tonight. That's in town. Outlying areas will be colder. 25 tomorrow, an inch or two, maybe three in most places tomorrow afternoon. Wednesday, dry, cool. And then look at this, up to 36 on Thursday. Friday, rain showers, 42, perhaps some rain or snow over the weekend. And it looks like temperatures will hold above freezing and even close to 40. Enjoy the day. Phil.